happen. Then we have gonadotropin releasing hormone. Now, from the hypothalamus, gonadotropin releasing hormone will be released via through what? Through the uh, hypophyseal porous system. Now, this system will bring that to the basophil cells in the anterior pituitary, where the gonadotropes are available. Now, those gonadotropes are stimulated by this gonadotropin releasing hormone. This will then release follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now, these both have got important functions in the male and as well as in the female. Now, what they are doing in the male? Simple. Male and male, what we need? Sperms. So, what they're doing? They'll move to the testes. Go ahead, okay? Where follicle stimulating hormone will stimulate Sertoli cells to synthesize ABP, androgen binding protein. And luteinizing hormones will direct the lytic cells. And these lytic cells will release uh, testosterone. These two are responsible for the sperm synthesis, spermatogenesis. And in the female, follicle stimulating hormone, the, the name is actually telling you guys, follicle stimulating hormone, a hormone that is stimulating the follicles to transform its shape from the one to another, primary to secondary, and to means to become mature. So you can say, you can say, one can say, I can say, you can say, we can say. Follicle stimulating hormones are responsible for the ovule synthesis. Ogenesis, whereas the luteinizing hormones are responsible for the ovulation. Well, so this is half gonadotrophin releasing hormones are responsible to synthesize the sperm in male and ovulation and ovule formation in the female. Hope you got it.